Hello producers, it's Özgün here. Today in this video I will show you how to change the tempo for a FL Studio track. There is a track that I currently worked on. If you're ready, let's get into that tutorial. Let's hear the tempo change first and then I will start explaining to you. Alright, this is a drop idea, as usual is 128. And after the 4 bar transition, my BPM is slowing down and it's becoming 110. So it's kinda going EDM to Mombaton. And in this transition, I will keep my leads playing. At the same time, I will have some drum elements. So how they not affecting it. For example, if I have a drum loop like this, when I change my tempo, as you can see, that sample is shortening it up and just adapting itself to a new tempo. But if I do it like this, you will see it's going to offbeat. It just makes no sense. So how we solve this problem? Just try you have some loop like this and you want to use the same loop where your BPM is slowing down. In this scenario, if you put the sample like this, it's not going to fit the tempo. But here's the thing that you should apply before making tempo changes. Double click the sample. In the time section, click right click, choose auto detect and give BPM. So we know it's 128. Give this 128 and it will not move with the tempo anymore. And the trick is choose auto mode if you or stretch or one of those. If you choose resample, the sample uh, key is going to change. And like this, you can literally do any tempo changes and all of your samples will stay organized. So how to create this automation clip? We are starting it 128, right? Create automation clip. And let's say 4 bar will be 128. We will have 2 bar uh, break, empty space to make the tempo change. And then our new tempo. So. Just make it like this and copy this value, paste here. So let's go to 110. Make 110, right click, copy value, make it like this, like this, and like this. Now you see. There are some several ways to make the tempo change. In this track, I just made it more wide because I wanted to listeners know and feel the tempo change because I was going to a Mombaton kind of break. That's why I wanted to make it more noticeable. But if you want, you can just make it like this too. But if you do it, just don't put any uh, rhythmic elements to that section because it's not going to work like this. It's all up to you how to make your tempo automations and this is the essential of changing BPM in FL Studio. Yeah, today we talk about how to change the BPM, how to change the tempo in a track and I hope you can apply this on your productions. If you like this video, give me some comments, subscribe and thanks for watching. See you on the next video.